Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back with another video on CSS course for beginners. In our previous videos, we had learned about the margins and the paddings and a lot many properties of CSS. In today's video, we are going to see about the cursors. What are these cursors? Cursors are the pinpoints that are going to point to whatever you are going to just hover on. So this red color dot that you can see, which is drawing a circle, this is also a kind of a cursor. So now, what are the types of cursors that you have in CSS? The first one is the auto cursor, that is the automatically whatever is available, that will be the auto cursor. Then next is the crosshair. The crosshair will be specific like a plus mark. So this will be the crosshair. The second one is the default, the default cursor. Third one is the pointer. Pointer comes uh, in a hand shape like this. The next is a move, which will be a plus mark uh, with the arrows. Next, you have east resize, northeast resize, northwest resize, north resize, southeast resize, southwest resize, south resize, west resize, text, and then there is help. The text will be in the I format. Help will be a question mark. Weight will be a rolling circle like this. So these are certain cursors that are available in, in CSS properties. So let us see how these are going to reflect in the Visual Studio code. Okay, so this is our Visual Studio code and here we have index.html and here we have styles.css. And I'm also going to open the format, the preview tab, that is the show preview tab, so that we can see everything clearly. Now let us write the basic HTML template. Once the basic HTML template is done, I'm just going to change the title to cursors. And here we have the paragraphs. And I'm going to write here, this is auto cursor okay in the same way i'm just going to copy this and i'm just going to paste it over here 15 times so that uh, whichever particular cursor is there that is going to get repeated it's a one two three four five six seven eight you're just going to take these copy it and paste them so now, now what I'm going to use here is I'll be using inline styling here so that it is going to reflect the cursor. So you can see now, can you see the eye? If I'm going to switch it here, then it's going to give eye. If I'm going to switch out, it is giving me a pointer or a default, whatever it is that. So what I'm going to do here is I'll just write here style and cursor. I'll give it as auto. Now we can see this is auto, that is, it is going to automatically shift. In the same way, you can see for everything, it is giving me the same thing here. The same thing is the output. So, what I'll do, I'll just change here to crosshair. I'll save it. Now we can see crosshair cursor, it is still giving you the same thing. What do you have to add? You need to add the style for it. So, style. Cursor, you can see crosshair. Now you can see that in this a complete paragraph, it is having the crosshair itself. Now this is the crosshair cursor. I'll just add the style tag to all the paragraphs. Okay, the next one we have was the default cursor and here as well, I just need to write it as a default. Now you can see this is the default cursor. It is, it is not going to change even if it is going to encounter any text. Now here in the auto, you can see when it encounters the text, it is going to convert itself in an I cursor and outside of that particular text, it is giving you the default cursor. Once when you're going to use the default, it is going to give you the default content itself. For what I'm going to do, I'll just use internal styling here and I'll style 
I will start the paragraphs. I will give certain border for them. Border, 2 pixels, solid, red. Now you can see in this particular paragraph itself, it is changing its size. Now this is the crosshair and it is changing inside this particular paragraph. Once you are going to shift it outside that particular paragraph, it is just going to get towards a default content. Now the next cursor you have is pointer. And this I'll provide here as pointer. Now you can see that a hand symbol is present. So this is your pointer curse. Next you have a move. As I told you, the move is going to have four arrows. To move any content from one side to another side, you can use this particular cursor over there. You might have seen how these cursors work. Then you have ease to resize. You can see here. East resize. So this is going to give you the east and the west resize both will be in the same content. Now if you want I'll also show you the west resize. These will be the same. Now you can see the west resize is also the same. It has both from the east direction as well from the west direction. So in the similar way you have a southeast resize. So this is the southeast resize as well as the northwest resize. You can just check northwest resize. You can check the southeast and the, as well as the northwest are the same. In the same way, you have a northeast resize, northeast resize, and southwest resize. Resize are the same. Then you have a north resize, and the north resize and the south resize are the same. They're going to give you the same cursors. You can see. You can see the south resize and the north resize are the same. The next one you have text. As everybody knows this, this will give you the I symbol here. The text cursor is going to give you the I symbol. Next you have help. So this is your help. It is going to be with the question mark and the default. Then you have a weight. It is just going to wait or it is going to just show you the loading cursor like this. This is your weight cursor. So you just don't want any cursor. You just have to use the none cursor over here. So once when you're going to come in that particular area, you can see that it is not showing you the cursor. So this is how you can use the multiple cursors in your website and make your website more meaningful with these cursors. Or the content in your website more meaningful with these courses. This is going to end this video here with the courses. Meet you again in the next video. Till then, keep learning and stay tuned. Bye bye.